Hello YouTube, I have a Timex depth gauge watch. In this video we'll show what comes up, comes in the box, how the glow is, and just other features about the watch. Here we have the Timex box, comes with a little sleeve on it. This is Timex on the top. Pretty hard box, pretty tough, has some kind of felt interior here, pretty nice box. Same belt lining here, little pillow, set this aside. So when I got it, it had like the little clip between the crown in here, so it stuck out, so it wasn't running when I got it. So that's all that's saying. A warranty thing. Yeah, I want you to activate it. And then a book about it. And this is just like all different languages. And it has like all the different types of it. All the different type models. They have. This is just a general book. So it comes on this little cheap pillow. comes with the old tag. Now let's take a closer look at the watch now. Here's the Timex depth gauge. Let's go ahead and check out the features closer up. First thing is let's check out this rotating bezel. Nice clicks. Here's a table, depth and no decompression time. This green hand right here is for the depth gauge. This one right here is the temperature. This is the temperatures in Celsius and the depth is in meter. This button right here is the indiglo feature. You'll see that when I go into a dark room, you'll see the glow of that, but you can kind of see it here. This is just your standard crown, screw down crown. Unscrew it, pull it out, change the time and date like normal. This button right here is to activate the depth function, so you're going to push to turn it on before you get in the water. It's according to the manual. There it goes, turns on. and press and hold to turn it off. Also in the manual if you stay between 0 and 2 meters for 5 minutes it will shut off. Here's that depth sensor. Flexible band. Here's going to be a test of the loom of the Timex depth gauge. First, I'll show how it just glows, and then I'll use the Indiglo feature. So let's charge it up. Should be good. It 
Moon's pretty good, but not the best. It can be a little confusing because this lower hand that's pointed at 6 is the depth meter. And this one right between the 12 and 1, that's the hour hand. And then the minute hand and the little one ticking is the second. And then this little one off to the side is the temperature. So if you haven't seen this dial, you can possibly get confused think, mistaking the, the minute hand. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Indiglo feature. Let's go ahead and check that out again. Here we have it on wrist. It's comfortable. This watch is large, so if you're not used to larger watches, then it might not be as comfortable. I really like this orange hand, because when you... Rotate the bezel, it's pretty easy to find. Thanks for watching. This has been my overview of the Timex depth gauge.